Hello. Hello. So, uh, Frank, uh, the last few months you've been building a bike? Yeah, it probably was a bit longer than the last few months. Right. I haven't been very quick at doing it. But uh, here it is. Basically, uh, took my old GT mountain bike. Right. And uh, decided to convert it to a, to a single speed. Fantastic. Why did you do that? I think it's because you bought a single speed. <laughs> And I thought, I've got an old mountain bike in the in the garage that's going roughly that I hadn't been ridden for about 10 years. Right. So, uh, we took all the bits off. So we left with the frame. Right. Which we uh, sanded down and then painted matte black. Okay. And then... That's quite smart. Pretty much everything else on the bike is uh, a purchase here and there and put together. The seat and the seat post were original. Okay, so the frame has been sanded down yeah, and, and, uh, and painted. And so the frame and the saddle and the pedals? And the pedals, yeah, but they're, they're going to be changed after the next sort of uh, big right. agenda. So okay. yeah, new forks, new wheels, new bottom bracket. Oh, right, okay, let's have a look at that then. Single speed <laughs> kit. Cool. So what was the hardest bit to, uh, to fit then? Um, Getting the forks in was quite difficult because I wasn't sure what I was doing and then at the, the last bit in the brakes I think were the, were the hardest bit. So what was it with the forks then that was tricky? Because these wheels, or well, this wheel looks really gnarly. Yeah, well actually yeah, the problem with the forks was I did have an old threaded headset before. Right. And I've converted to a threadless. Oh, okay, so, right. Yeah, that took a bit of research on the and took a bit of doing. But you found like some tutorials on the internet, yeah, right? Yeah, found some bike shops on the web that uh, ran through pretty much everything, which is quite handy. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, and then the brakes and uh, so these yeah, still a few things to, to do, but we've, uh, we've been out riding a few times on it. And it's, it's been fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's been good. It's been ideal for a, a Sunday afternoon wind down. So what is it about the single speeding like that you like then? Oh, I don't really, I think I just it's like... It's different, right? Yeah, it's a different, no changing the gears. You yeah. can uh, bob along the flat quite nicely. It takes and a while you, yeah. to get used to, but... It does, yeah. And if you fancy uh, an extra workout, you can chuck in a few a few hills to see how, how strong you're feeling. <laughs> yeah, or not after a night's drinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, Fantastic, yeah, very good. good. So we've still a few things to do, which uh, we'll do over the next few weeks, but at least now it's rideable, which so you've got centre pulls on, these are, these are quite smart yeah, as well. Yeah, not too bad. So there's the centre pull there, the system, and we've got that at the back as well, right? Yeah, and then we've got the chain tension on the back, so we've got oh, the yeah. drop out. Right, okay, so here we go with the uh, centre pull there, and then this is... So what's this, what's this part here then? So that's the chain tensioner, because you've got horizontal drop out. Right. You have to have the chain tension to keep the, the single speed chain tight. Ah, uh, okay, you, right. You would normally push the wheel back. The but you can't do that. Chain tight, but yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, right. Because it, was a, it had a derailleur before. Right. And nice chunky tyres. So they're yeah. big apple. <laughs> yeah, big apple Schwab. Yeah. Yeah, they seem to do the thing. Fantastic. Yeah, but right, it's then. a nice enjoyable ride. So I suppose we ought to uh, go and ride That's it then. Been, yeah. Fantastic, let's do that.